Hi there. Today is Monday, October 5th. This is 8th grade English language arts at Hanby Middle School. I am Mr. Newman, and this is today's class recap. Let's begin by writing down our planner information. As you know, you can find this under today's date, which is listed as 10-5 reading logs, under the Classwork tab of Google Classroom. Go ahead and pause the video while you find and open the planner and record what you see under the planner box. There should be four items. Let's get those in your handy student planner. Pause now. Hi, welcome back. Okay. Now that you're in your handy student planner, let's look at what you've got there. Okay. So our goal of determining meaning from a visual presentation, we're going to do that when we look at a video on um, fantasy genre. But at this point, in just a minute, you're going to pause uh, while you write your quick write. So your quick write today goes on page W11. And the question is this, what qualities do you admire most in other people? Explain using examples and making connections to your own life. What qualities do you admire most in other people? So let's pause this video while you do this. You're going to click the six minute timer that is on your planner and write the whole time. I apologize for the annoying ending. Okay, go ahead and pause now while you record and write in your quick write. All right, great job and welcome back. Okay, so today we're gonna um, spend some time reading, but before we do that, I wanna take a little bit deeper dive into fantasy. So on page R4 and R5, in your notebook toward the front, you should have notes that you have recorded on the different genres that we did a couple of weeks ago. So on R4 at the top, uh, would you take a minute to reread your notes on fantasy? Okay, based on what you've recorded, um, what in a minute you're going to pause and watch a video, but what I'd like you to do is try to add to the notes that you have. So basically, how can you strengthen what you've uh, recorded already? So to find the video, uh, you're going to go into the assignment for today, 10-5 reading logs, and you're looking for uh, the video that says fiction book genres, um, what we need to know. Okay. So go ahead and pause uh, the class recap, watch that video, and try to update or add to some of the notes that you already have in your notebook on page R4. We'll pause now while you watch the video. Okay, welcome back. So looking at R4, Hopefully you've been able to strengthen a little bit of fantasy. And remember, fantasy, things happen in fantasy that cannot happen in our world. And they couldn't happen in our world, even with the addition of technology. That would move it into science fiction. So when we have mythical creatures, ogres, we have people using magic, um, we have realities that could not possibly, you know, realms, portals into another world, things like that. Um, those could not happen. Those all fall under the realm of fantasy. You can also lump myths and legends and things like that into fantasy as well. Okay, so with that said, um, now you're going to go into going back into Google Classroom. Sorry, we're going to back up here and we're going to go down to the 40 book challenge. And in here, there is recommended books by genre. And in this, you'll see one that's called fantasy recommendations. Would you click to open that, please? When you do, you'll see something that looks like this. And these are recommendations from people uh, throughout different classes. Um, and what I'd like you to do is add yours to it. It won't show up in this. I have to approve it before it goes. But remember that just like Elizabeth Cornelius has done here, <coughs> your first line is your first and last name. You'll notice that everyone here has capitalized the first letter of their first and last name as well. And then the series or the book. So Cole said, Percy Jackson series, you'll notice how he capitalized, again, in title case, Ali Farney, Wrinkle in Time. 
words like in, the, at, but, things like that generally don't need to be capitalized unless it's the first word in the title. For example, the would not need to be capitalized, but because it's the Hobbit and it's the first word, we capitalize that first letter. So go ahead and post to your fantasy recommendations and add this here. I'll pause while you do this. Okay, if you need more time, go ahead and pause this video, but go ahead and post yours and see if you can add some co cover art. If you're not clear how to do that, um, adding cover art, uh, when you go to post, you'll see a little thing that's like a magnifying glass and it's got like a grid in it. That takes you to a Google search. And from there, um, you can type in the book's title and chances are you'll see uh, an image of the book, which you can click on and add. Okay, so going back now, into um, the 40 book challenge. We're going to go again this time to uh, write up from recommended books by genre. There's the 40 book challenge reading log. And just a reminder, there are two different things in here. On the first one, um, the first one here, or sorry, the one that says 40 book challenge reading log, and it's a Google form. Each time that you finish reading a book, go to this form and enter it. It'll record your name anyway, but this is a way to keep track of all the books that you're reading. So this is how I know what you're reading. So next up on the 40 book challenge, um, sorry, in addition to the 40 book challenge reading log form, there's also one that says individual reading log. This one is just yours. Okay, and what this looks like, and we're gonna pull someone's up here. So we have Kyle Petty's from first period. So on the first page of yours, you'll notice that it says your name. Would you change that or update it so that your name is on the front page? Remember, this is yours. To get into this, uh, you're gonna have to, from here, click on view assignment, and that will open and you'll see one with your name on it. That's how you open it, okay? So next, you wanna scroll down into this, and what you're looking for is a genre of a book that you're reading. So for example, on, on number five, a uh, book that you're reading, The Way It Is, New and Selected Poems by William Stafford. So this was a book that I read this year. Um, and I would update with the title, the author, the number of pages, and the genre that I chose. That is reflected on page four. Okay, so uh, know that this is here and uh, here for you. Okay, uh, would you please update that? Once you've done so, you have the rest of the period to read in your book. Okay, remember this is the individual reading log. Please update and add to your notes. All right, or sorry, update it with the books that you are reading. 